You've no doubt heard about Fox News Corp and the nonsense about the Dominion voting machines being rigged against President Trump during the last presidential election. Fox is paying out $787 million to settle the lawsuit that came after those comments. But there are other lawsuits on the way. Now, why, oh why, am I telling you that? Well, it's because Oregon's massive pension fund has millions invested in Fox News. Yep, in Fox News. And state leaders are thinking about suing Fox's board of directors for not acting sooner. And that is our big story tonight. Oregon has nearly $12 million invested in Fox Corporation stock. Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum and the state treasurer Tobias Reed want to know if the company's board hurt Oregon's investment by allowing its news show to make those false claims about Dominion voting systems. Dominion sued Fox for $1.6 billion after its hosts repeated the false claims made by then-President Trump and his allies about the stolen election. Some hosts on Fox continued to promote the election lies to their audiences, even though they privately ridiculed them. After allegations that their machines caused thousands of votes in one Michigan county to be switched from Donald Trump to Joe Biden. Court filings show the internal conversations, texts, and testimony show that some of Fox's biggest names knew those claims were false. We have evidence of how they flipped the votes, how it was designed to flip the votes. The cable network's biggest star, Tucker Carlson, wrote to his producer about that Trump lawyer days after the election. Sidney Powell is lying, he wrote. April 18th, the two sides settled right before the court case was beginning. Fox agreed to pay the voting machine company $787 million, and that hurt the stock price, which hurt investors who held Fox stock. And that's why Oregon leaders started to wonder, maybe we should take some action. I recently sat down with the state treasurer, Tobias Reed, to talk about it. So in the case of, of Fox, you know, it's been widely reported um, that Fox has settled a, a lawsuit uh, with Dominion for nearly $800 million and that there are some other lawsuits uh, in play. And we'd like to know how that affects uh, the company and, and whether the decisions that the board has been making are in the interests of its shareholders. So fundamentally, you're saying board, you allowed this thing to continue with, this, with Dominion being libeled you lost a lawsuit, you hurt the stock price, you hurt our investment? That's the question we're asking. And the first step in that process is what's known as a books and records request so that we can understand the impact. Um, so we're, we're interested in that uh, based on what's been widely reported and that might lead to, to further steps. Do you know how much we have invested in them? Yes, uh, it's about $11.7 million. And in the context of the large pension fund, you know, that's, that's a lot of money to me and to, to a lot of people in, in our own lives, but it represents 0.0127% uh, of the pension fund. So it's important to know our style. The, the people who work for Treasury are not stock pickers. We're not trying to time the market. We invest little bits in lots of different things. Uh, we're, we're, we're fans of the index strategy where we can keep our, our costs low, but that means that we are exposed to lots of different things. And so being the, the diligent folks that we are, we're paying attention to that and we want to assert our rights and, and ask the question of whether, whether a board has been acting in the interests of the company and, and its shareholders. I was a little surprised to hear that the state is invested in Fox. Yeah, it, it's, it's consistent with that strategy because we are not um, so arrogant as, as to think that, that we can pick individual stocks and be successful over the long run. Our style is to be widely exposed to lots of different things, uh, not trying to time the market, not trying to, to be smarter than, than the crowds in that sense. So if you ask me if we're exposed to a given publicly traded company, the answer is almost certainly yes to some degree. And I can just hear critics from the right, for example, saying, oh, you just want to do this because you're part of a progressive state and you want to take a shot at a conservative media. We're, we're interested in making sure that our investments are being well managed, that the boards of companies uh, are meeting their obligations, that are, they're looking out for their shareholders. Um, we, we do this in a variety of places, um, and, and that's consistent with our obligation to the 400,000 beneficiaries on, on whose behalf we're investing. 
So how bad was Oregon's investment hit? You decide. The state holds both Class A and Class B shares of Fox stock. Class A traded for $34 a share on April 18th when the settlement happened, and it did fall, but then eventually climbed back up to 33.84 on June 8th before going down just a little bit last Friday. The Class B stock followed a similar pattern on April 18th. It traded at 31.20 a share, then fell after the settlement, but climbed to 31.40 by last Friday. The state treasurer said whether or not Oregon goes forward with a lawsuit against Fox depends on what it finds after getting the records that they've demanded there. So what do you think about this? Do you think the attorney general and the treasurer are doing the right thing to look into this and consider legal action? Or do you feel that since the investment is such a small part of the state's portfolio that a potential for a lawsuit is a, really a good bit of political posturing by the state leaders? Send us an email, will you? The address is the story at kgw.com, or you can call and leave a voicemail, 503-226-5090. I look forward to hearing from you.